Hi everybody, it's Amy from Bargain Beauty and I thought this morning we would go to my Dollar Tree. So there's one very close to my home and we've been going to the big Dollar Tree the last couple of times so let's go to my Dollar Tree. First, I have to stop at McDonald's because I can get my soda, my caffeine fix and uh, it's only a dollar so win-win, right? Alright guys, so the next time I talk to you we will be at the Dollar Tree. Okay, we are at my Dollar Tree. Now they just opened for the day, which is my favorite time to come in. Everything is usually nice and fully stocked at my Dollar Tree. They try really hard. They work very hard at my Dollar Tree to do a good job at keeping the store clean and organized and stocked. So I am super excited that they have now started putting out a lot more Christmas items. The snowman we hadn't seen at the big Dollar Tree, but we did see these red buckets. You guys know I did grab one. I have a feeling those are going to be a hot commodity this year. I've seen those at Michael's for much more than a dollar. I absolutely love these little teeny lights, but every time I buy them, I don't really use them as much as I think I'm going to. Some of the arts and crafts are very similar to last year or are the same. Um, if there's anything that you guys spot that's new, could you just write it out in the comment section? That would be amazing. Also, if you do DIYs for wreaths or Christmas, um, please feel free to leave a link to your video in the comment section below. Uh, if it does go to the part where I have to approve it, I definitely will. I want to help cross promote other channels and because I don't do a lot of DIYs on my channel um, and I think a lot of people enjoy watching them I absolutely don't mind if you share them on my channel at all um, I think it's really cool if we can help support each other and I like to watch them so it might be something I'm missing because I am subscribed to a lot of people and sometimes I miss videos that I would really like to watch so just leave your links down in the comment section below. Just another good way to kind of shout you out if you um, want to be shouted out. Uh, everyone reading the comment section can look and see who has posted. And come back. Even if you don't do the craft um, for a little while, you can definitely come back and comment um, later on. It doesn't have to be right away. I know that we have seen the candles in the big Dollar Tree, but I always want to remind everyone who's watching, not everyone, they have the white and the green trees. Those white trees are going to go fast. That's another item we all know is going to go quickly. Um, but yeah, not everyone watches every single video I do. So sometimes there might be a repeat item in my videos because somebody else may have not seen the last video, but they'll be able to see this this one and they'll be able to see everything what I was trying to do for a long time was not repeat any items whatsoever in any of the videos but what happens is not everybody can watch everything so I am going to start including a little bit more um, of the same items like if it's like Christmas and things like that now these are going to be super hard to pick through to show you guys because everything is so fully stocked so I apologize if it looks like I'm tearing the place apart but I just kind of got to move stuff around and hold the camera with the other hand. It's a little bit difficult and um, I do my best. <laughs> so these are really great for just something to throw on maybe your kitchen table or your dining room table. Now these bags in person, the red and the green guys is so vibrant. I'm going to, this is going to happen a lot. A lot of stuff is going to fall because they have packed it to the max full of new items so check out those snowman bags because in person they are absolutely gorgeous i love all the different styles traditional snowman santa um, they have something for everybody for sure okay i have to have this bag it is absolutely beautiful if i can get it out there we go isn't that so just perfect traditional like happy fun i absolutely love this bag have to have that and i'm going to do my best to show you as many bags as i can with all this bulk on um these i don't know rods or whatever you call them that the bags hang from As things sell more, I'll be able to show you things a lot better than this. 
But how exciting to see full shelves. Like when I walked in, I was so excited because it's been a little bit since I've been to my Dollar Tree. I've been going to the big one. And um, when I walked in and I saw all this stuff, see, <laughs> all these full shelves, I was so excited. And I did speak to the manager and asked her to put aside those clothing boxes that have the truck on them. So she's getting another shipment of Christmas stuff tomorrow and she's going to check for me. And if she has them, she's going to put them aside. I told her I want the whole box. However many come in, I want the whole box. Because I know a lot of you aren't going to be able to get them. And I absolutely love them. So I might do a giveaway and put a couple in the giveaway. And I could even save them for, you know, next year. It's not like they go bad. They're boxes. I'm trying, guys. <laughs> Sorry. I think I'm just going to have to start taking stuff off of the peg I gotta get this bag as well oh that's so pretty I'm gonna get a few things today and then when you know she's getting that truck in tomorrow I'll come back in a couple of days, see what they have, and get some more of the items. Just so many. I'm going to actually put those back after I shut the camera off. So here's kind of like an overview of the bags on the outside. But there's like multiple designs of each style. And then they have the most adorable little gift card boxes. Even little, you can put jewelry in here little necklaces or earrings or I have to have this it's a must have I can never take anything in the front I've always got to take it from the back. I can't help it. Put that back. Some of these designs I remember from last year. And some of them are new. I love these little mailboxes. I get them every year. These are actually tin. Last year the ones that I bought were paper. Like a cardboard. I'm sure a lot of you got them as well. And this is all going to fall. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. They do have the best packaging at Dollar Tree, right? They have the treat bags. I have to get this one. Let's see what else they have. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I have to get the little penguins. I love the paper bags. Like, not just the plastic ones, but I love the, like, paper bags. Like, the lunch bags, but with designs on them like these. I love them. They have more structure to them than the plastic ones. I just want to scan really quickly and see if there's anything new over in this area. Since there's no one down this aisle. Like I said, if you spot anything, let me know in the comment section below. You guys see stuff sometimes that while I'm there kind of trying to film and look, I don't see like those Bolero masks. I went right by them several times. I've seen people haul these a while ago. These are new in our store though, but I know that other YouTubers have put them in their videos. So, but they are definitely new to my store. 
But yeah, you guys see stuff I don't see. So I love when you say, hey, this is new or that's new or, you know, point out things for me. I appreciate the help, honestly. These are cute, the little cars. I, those are new. The little um, water paints. At least in my store, they're new. See if there's any new products over in the pet section. You know, I bought that pedigree and I gave it to my dogs. And they, did, they didn't really do well in their tummies with it. So I'm not doing that again. It's a good price for that car wash for that size. All right, automotive stuff. Let's see. You know, this is the weirdest thing. I lose the weirdest things in my house. I'm considering getting this hammer because I lose my hammer. How do you lose a hammer? I constantly lose it in my house. I had to borrow my friend's hammer the other day, my neighbor. I was like, I don't know where it is. I lose the most random things. It's a hammer. It's not like a pen. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not small. And I, I lose it. I love my um, new phone, my Samsung 8 Note. But the bad part is I can't get any of my accessories at the Dollar Tree anymore. I can't get the screen protector. I can't get the charger. I can't get any of that at the Dollar Tree. And I absolutely loved being able to have that option. But I didn't realize the, I'm going to grab a couple of these. I love getting the command hooks. You can never have enough command hooks. Such a good price at Dollar Tree. And if you go to command.com, sometimes they have a dollar off coupon that you can print out, making that a freebie. You guys, let me know, are you liking the longer videos or do you like the 10 minute and under videos? I'd love to hear your opinion on the longer I used to be somebody who did 10 minutes or less um, but I've been doing these longer Dollar Tree videos and from my analytics because I do look uh, you guys are sticking around so let me know though let me know how you're feeling about the longer videos I can mix it up do some short some long I want this Santa belt mug I love it. <laughs> I don't know why I love it. I just love it. I'm not going to get it today, but I'm definitely going to get one. Rem Some of you won't remember, but a lot of you will. I showed you guys these boxes over here, and it was stacked full last time I was at my Dollar Tree. What was that, like... A week week and a half ago and look how many are already gone remember this was piled to the top full i have to get that piled to the top full of boxes they're already going and it's not even halloween people always say like i don't know why they put stuff out early but i gotta tell you if they weren't buying it if we weren't because i'm included if we weren't buying it they wouldn't put it out so there's a supply and demand there for sure now I'm just going to quickly skim over the books and see if there's anything new. It's looking to me like mostly the same. Yep, I saw that one. So if there's not anything new, I'm not going to uh, go into great detail and, and stuff. But some of you do like, a, a very few amount do like when I do the books. Um... But you really like it and you stick around to watch. So I don't mind including them in my videos at all. Because I love the books too. But I don't see a ton there that we should really, I don't know, take our time to look at, I guess. Let's scan the candle section. See, I spot stuff as I'm walking. Sorry. Nothing else besides that front one. See how tiny my wall decals are compared to the bigger store? But we have more frames. It's like I can, between those two stores, it's like a happy 
balance. What one store doesn't have, the other one does. So this is a new candle, Peppermint Cream. It smells more like cream. It doesn't smell like peppermint to me. Just a heads up if you want to buy the candle. You'll be able to smell it, obviously, when you go in the store. But it's definitely more of a cream smell than it is a peppermint. Now, when it burns, I don't know if the throw is going gonna, it's gonna to have that peppermint smell or not. But just at first whiff, not so much. Spiced gingerbread. I love gingerbread candles. One of my faves. That smells good. It smells really good. Just poke around a little bit. And I know I walked right by these, but these are new for my store. Has anybody grabbed these yet? They're very pretty. Right, guys somebody needs to go down the aisle so I'm in a new aisle we're in the food aisle and I want to see if they have any look how nice and stocked and neat my store is I give my store so much credit are these new Campbell's classics let me see if there's oh that's something different they have to be new because they're not on the regular shelf huh actually it looks kind of yummy Right? Can we give, like, kudos and props to my store? I call it my store because it's the one near where I live. At how organized they try to be. The manager in the store just rocks it. I'm telling you. I used to go to this store years ago before this manager, and it was horrible. It's a good price for that 24 ounces. Management makes a huge difference. I want to find that Newman's. I've been looking for over a month. And they have it. I'm so excited. I'm grabbing two. Everyone else has been hauling this for like a month. And they didn't have it. I'm psyched. That's awesome. I want to say thank you to everyone that's... Um, offer to send me items that I'm looking for but honestly the best part of it is the hunt of finding the items you know what I mean it's not even it won't kill me if I won't find them or I don't get them so that's why I normally just decline when you guys offer to send me stuff but I really appreciate that you offer like I just wanted to throw that out there I really appreciate that you guys offer but honestly I love the hunt of it the chase of it more than I need the product so don't ever worry if I ever needed something, I mean, really needed it, really, really wanted it, um, you know, I'd ask. But otherwise, it's just me saying, oh, I like this or I want to find this. or It's just me talking to you guys. I try and make it feel like we're just hanging out, two girlfriends or whoever's watching, and we're just, you know, hanging out in the store, chit-chatting. It's kind of how my videos go. They're not perfect. You know, I just do the best I can. And it's just, you know, a lot of people have even said that's like hanging out with a friend shopping, and that's really what I want my videos to be like. So if that's what you get out of it, I, I love that. I could spend, see, the, the other store that I go to, the big, this is such, they don't always have these in my store, but they do around fall time, and I love them. Snickerdoodles, I haven't bought these since last year. I know these are hard, but I actually prefer the hard snickerdoodles. Like, a lot of people like the softer ones. I do like the hard ones. But at my Dollar Tree, see, the big Dollar Tree is where you think I could spend a lot of money. People have said, like, oh, my God, I'd spend so much there in my comment section. But I got to tell you, the small Dollar Tree, look at how much stuff is in this little store. This and everything's clean and neat, and that appeals to me. This is the store that I spend most of my money at. This is the store that could put me broke. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you. Because they're so organized and clean. Those cream of wheat, they have blinky pads at Stop and Shop. If you, a coupon, if you don't know what a blinky is. If you want to grab uh, a couple of those and use them at the Dollar Tree. Golden Farms Molasses. That's new for our store.
this is the time of year to stock up on spices. You know, they start bringing out those big containers of clove, of ginger, allspice. That is the time. We still have some of these. I'm shocked. And then the sea salt. It's such a good deal. We don't get a ton of, like, bakery items per se. We get just enough, really. This makes me want to go home and bake something yummy. Alright guys, are these new? I don't know if they are or not. I, they haven't been in my store, and I did not see them in Bristol. But maybe I'm... Maybe I've missed them, because you guys know I do miss stuff. Dried cranberries. These are new for my store. Six ounces. I know sometimes you guys like to see the back. That's a really good deal for a dollar. And healthy. And you could use them at Thanksgiving. Now these are new for my store. That's just randomly in this slot. It looks like it's been beat up a little bit. So let's look down. Where are they? They have to be close to this. There we go. H have these been in your stores? But how perfect is that? If, like, holidays coming up, having people over, put a little dip. You can make dip and have this as a little snack. Or cheese dip. or Yum. Okay, these are definitely new for my store. I hope you guys made it till the end because I'm finding all the new stuff at the end. Here we go, so you guys can see the label. So it looks like there's three designs. These are new for my store. You guys maybe have had them. Or again, I could have passed them by and not realized we had them. They're just so packed, like, solid in here that it's looking like a new item to me. The pink and the white, I, I, I don't know. I've seen the other ones on either side, but I don't remember seeing these. And that white and blue packaging, it really stands out. And this huge bag of regular popping corn. Pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Just kidding. One more item. McCormick Slow Cookers. Very cool. Very, very cool. Bye, everybody.